Hi, and welcome to another Morning Cup of Inspiration. Today I want to share with you some good news. Actually, this is great news. It comes to us from the Bible, Colossians 1, 18-23. I want to read this to you, and I'm going to add some names here where the he's and those are at. And he, which is Jesus, is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Once you and I were alienated from God and were enemies in our minds because of our evil behavior. But now he has reconciled you and I by Christ's physical body through death to present you and I holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation. If you continue in your faith, established and firm, and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel, this is the gospel that you heard and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven to which we are and have become a servant. Isn't that great news? All that wrapped up says that all our sins are forgiven. We can beat ourselves up and say, God, you know, doesn't, he's, he's mad at me. He's not forgiving me. I'm not getting into heaven. But he has taken all that. He put it on the cross. So what he's saying right there is that all is forgiven. And we can expect to live with him in eternity forever if we accept him as our Lord and Savior, because he has paid that price for us already. I think that's just fabulous. When I read that scripture, it just I just go, thank you, Lord. I mean, there's times when I can beat myself up, and I know that many of you have done the same thing. But we don't have to. We've been reconciled. As soon as we accepted him into our life, and we became, let him be the Lord uh, of our lives, we became reconciled, and he has us covered. We're on our way to heaven. I hope that inspires you today. It just thrills my soul when I read that. Let's have a quick prayer. Father, I just thank you for everyone that is watching this right now. I pray that if anyone has any doubts in their lives at all, or in their minds or in their spirit of where they're going, that they'll take this verse and they'll know that it was just what you said. Christ died on the cross for our sins. He's reconciled us. We're on our way to heaven. And anybody that doesn't know this, Lord, I pray that our community here will just share it with everybody so that they will know, too, that they are reconciled to Christ if they accept Him as their Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord. Give us all a great day in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Share the good word. God bless. Bye-bye.